So we left Pride Lands early this morning in a Land Rover convoy and we've just come through Palabora Gate into the wilderness that is Kruger National Park. We're going to meet Dave and Emma Prokop to start our eco training adventure up in Makaleki. We've just driven four hours and yeah, we're only half an hour into the sweet spot. And eco training outpost is, yeah, that's it. Oh, wow. So you got, uh, it's just a playground of wildness. Beautiful part of the world. This low felt with the, the baobabs. I didn't even know these rams are protected wetlands. We're here. Uh, went down to one of the pans and just teeming with, uh, with birds. And we've seen 124 different species so far. I've never been here this side of the wet season, so it's just been incredible to see the change in the landscape, especially after the good rains that they've had this time around. So we we'll do a, a walk into dangerous wild camp country, so just some basic guidelines. I'm going to walk in single file with my, my trusty backup Tristan behind us, walking silently. If we see anything of interest or anything of dangerous, we click our fingers and we point in that direction. Um, it's going to be at no stage we'll be asking you to run. Okay. You're pretty fast, but uh, we're not going to run. This is the nuts and males coming forward with their horns. They're yeah. quite aggressive. Yeah. And they're jostling each other. The one chased the other one. That's a bit daunting. Mm -hmm. eh? Chasing towards you. Yeah. Don't come this way. <laughs> As a kid, I always wanted to be a game ranger, so it's been a pretty cool experience getting to see you know, a whole bunch of people on their way to, to becoming guides and the hard work that goes into it. I've mm. um, been very impressed by the, the calibre of, of um, you know, lecturers and guides um, that are running the courses. Something that I definitely recommend to... to even you know, young people who just want to get out there and see a bit of the world. And to be able to spend time in this concession, I mean, there's only two lodges that people can stay at and get to experience it. And you can do a course where you're out here every day uh, you know, in, in the bush, seeing parts of Kruger that tourists have no access to. Uh, I mean, that in itself is amazing. Mm. So we left the eco training camp in the Makaleki concession this morning and we've actually driven just outside the Kruger National Park gate to the Makaleki community and we're here to show Emma and David what a great example of community conservation partnership is all about. We've come here on a pretty special day. Eco training has a, a very long relationship over a decade with the community and today is actually the selection process for two candidates to come and join the next one year course with Eco Training. And quite thrilled that Dave and Emma both get to sit in on a few of the interviews and really see, you know, what these candidates are made of. But some of those candidates are incredible. Yeah, yeah, really skilled and it's quite incredible to see that enthusiasm and dedication. Kruger National Park, it's iconic. Everyone, everyone knows the 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 name. Uh, I've never driven the whole the whole park and seeing the changing landscapes and and, and just the diversity of, of um, fauna and, and, and flora as you as you move north. Um, I, know, it, I think it's it's so important that we are finding ways to continue to protect these sorts of places mm. and, and going into Makaleki village and this concession is obviously a, a fairly new model in terms of the conservation history in, in trying to make wildlife a sustainable land use and it, some really, really interesting things things happening in that space. Mm.